Hey guys, Lynette with the Red Carpet Report. We're at the Beverly Hilton for the Humane Society Annual Genesis Gala. It's change for animals. We're gonna to talk to a bunch of people, a lot of celebrities, and you know what? By the end, you're gonna be inspired to get involved. Come on, let's go check it out. Wild Justice, woo woo! Okay, come closer. First of all, I wish I was in a uniform too, by the way. I love it. Tell our viewers a little bit about your show. Well, Wild Justice features the game wardens, both in Northern and Southern California. Kind of just follows us around on our job we do every day, and either enforcement contacts or dealing with marijuana gardens and catching poachers, which is, you know, what we're out to do most of the time. Now, what's the craziest thing that you've seen so far? The craziest thing I've seen so far? Uh, it kind of depends. I mean, we had a great commercial case in the Santa Monica Bay, you know, where people used uh, what we call under, underwater gear, spreader gear, where it can't be detected from the surface, and we're able to, you know, bust a guy fishing in a close area with uh, close to 500 pounds of lobster that he was selling illegally. So it was a, it was a great rewarding, uh, you know, bust when we finally got that case put together. But it was months of work. So. Yeah, it sounds crazy. <laughs> now, growing up, were you always kind of like a sleuth personality? Yeah, I mean, I always wanted to be a game warden growing up. Um, I, I also wanted to do science, so I got my degree in biology and worked for the department as a biologist and then became a game warden. But I always wanted to, in some way, protect or enforce our resources. So Now, for our viewers, what's something that they could do to give back and get involved um, here with the Humane Society, but what could they do on an individual level? Uh, to give back or, you know, to help us out, we have a Caltip number that we set up where they can call in. Uh, it's 888-CALTIP, uh, DFG Caltip. I, I don't know if they're going to change that now or not, but anyways, it's 888-DFG Caltip is the number. So if they see any wildlife crimes or pollution problems going on, they can call that number and they can report those things so we can actually respond because we are um, spread pretty thin throughout the state and so we rely on people to tell us what's going on in the, uh, in the, uh, with the environment and what's, what's going on with the pollution as well. Absolutely. Now, who's our little furry friend down here? And our furry friend is canine Leo. Leo is basically, a, he's a seven-year-old German Shepherd. He came from the Czech Republic. And uh, he has two things. He helps protect me when I'm out patrolling. And he helps me find different things. So he'll help me find bear meat, deer meat, lobster, abalone, uh, also recently fired guns, um, all part of the environmental crimes that we look for. Now, I was recently talking with someone. The dogs that get trained, that process that they have, is it a long process? And like, how do they, how do they know what to look for or smell for? Uh, it, it's basically a play drive is what we feed in onto. If they want, like to play ball, uh, you hide the odor with the ball, and then pretty soon they realize, they figure out pretty quick, if I find this odor, I get my ball. You know, and so that's how we basically train them on to, into finding the odors that we want them to find. Um, and it is, it's, you know, we go through an eight-week academy and then we do monthly training uh, required to keep up on the skills because they're, you know, just like us, if, they, if you don't use it, you lose it kind of deal. So we keep them up to speed. So. <laughs> Well, have an amazing night. You guys are doing a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Hi, guys. Thanks for watching. No, not hi, guys. Thanks for watching. I got it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And you guys, adopt, adopt, adopt. Bye.